Hi guys, welcome to Gems and Jewels. Today I'd like to show you how I made this Chanel wall. If you're interested, please stay tuned. Over Black Friday, I got a deal on some coffee tables and it came with two big foam things on top. Well, actually three, but on, only the two is going to work for this project. So I took uh, this round tray and a pen, traced the tray on top of the foam, depending upon, you know, your dimensions is what you would use, but something circular, obviously. Once I was done with that and I had the circle, I did it on both pieces of foam. Then I just cut it out. If you don't have any foam left over from anything from Christmas, you can get some at Hobby Lobby. So this is what the styrofoam looked like after I cut it and just stuck it together to make the Chanel logo. So I took tin foil and I put it on the spots for the C's. Obviously you can't use just one sheet. You're going to have to do this in sections. And what you want to do is you want to cover your C up to where you can't see any of the styrofoam. And you're going to cut what needs to be trimmed and then you're going to hot glue it. And yeah, it's going to get wrinkled and what have you, but you're going to cover it. This is just something that is nice to have in case there's any cracks in your, you know, your beads or your little diamond silver confettis so you don't see the styrofoam in the back. Just an extra precautionary factor. You don't have to take it, but I felt more confident doing it. So I did this with both my C's. So then I took bling wrap or diamond wrap and then here I think it was just four rows but on the edge of each C on the outside as well as the inside I believe it was yeah I believe it was four and I just hot glued all of that and at one point I took the diamond wrap and I did an entire C and because I wanted to make it the one C different from the other, but I didn't like it. And I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you really think you're going to like it because all it did was it added more time and more glue. And it was hard to see the glue on the diamond wrap to put the diamond confettis on. So this is a close-up of the little silver diamond confettis on part of the C. And here you'll see the other C that I just did the diamond wrap and I didn't like. Um, the two different spots that aren't covered where my hand is, I'm about to show you. That is where my C is going to be glued. My top C, this is my bottom C, will be glued on. And it kind of helps me decipher direction and purpose for that. These little silver diamond confettis are pretty neat because when the light reflects off of them, they're in various colors. But I do want to give you a word of caution. If you choose to do this project, it took me on and off about two weeks. So this isn't something that you're going to make in a day unless you're able to stay at home or do it over the weekend or what have you. It's tedious and it's monotonous, but it's beautiful. So all I did is I one by one glued these little silver diamond confettis. All your things are in the description box. I believe I went through two boxes per C. This is what they look like up close. So just line them up how, they, how you want to. I took the flat part, which would have, there you go, the flat part, which you'd normally think would be the top piece, and I glued that part on the bottom and had the spiky part pointing up. Should you choose to use the mirror tiles, like in this video, you're going to want to use a piece of wood to support the weight. In this case, that was a two by two piece of wood. To support it, just used a large picture hanger with teeth and screwed that into the wood. 
took four Menards mirror tiles and glued them onto the board. And this is what it looked like when it was done. So for this part, you're going to take your bottom C and kind of stick it to where each portion of the mirror is in sync. And then you're going to take your top C and play with it. In my case, I mean, just one more hair, I think, would have been better. But I already glued it, so I couldn't undo it. Um, anyways, you want to place it to where you think it looks like the logo. And that's going to help you to decipher where you're going to glue the bottom C. And once you get the bottom C glued on, then obviously you glue on your top C. Then this part is, it looks like it's not so complicated, but yeah, this part's a little tricky. For this portion, I bought liquid nails, but it was some, I don't know, it was a reject. It, it wouldn't, couldn't get it open. Um, for this portion, I used construction glue. And I would just kind of put it up and see if I liked how it looked, put it back down. And then glued it with a construction glue, leave it for the night, and then you can hang it in the morning. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this project today. Thank you for tuning in to Gems and Jewels. If you enjoyed this project, please like, share, and subscribe to my station. I really, really like working with anybody on YouTube, any suggestions, comments, any kind of contact, I appreciate. You guys are awesome. I hope you like this inexpensive contemporary piece. Run to Hobby Lobby, grab these shelves. Normally they're $45, but as of right now, they're on sale for $25. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next project and we'll be making some stuff to go on top of these shelves. Thanks again for tuning in. Have a great day.